prefers to eat fat from pushchair experts. I bet there's some kind of pushchair I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the today. So today we are going to be looking um, at some side to side, side by side strollers. So you might know the difference between a tandem and a double. So if it says double, it means side by side. If it says tandem, it means one behind the other. So today we've got four of our very, very popular double strollers. All of them suitable for um, twins or all of them suitable for siblings, children of varying ages. So if you can hear us, give us a thumbs up. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Tell you that as soon as you go around the side to check whether they're asleep, they're awake. 
Always, 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 always the same. Again, you have one shorter if needed be, or one longer. And you also, with the hood, you have a media pocket. A media pocket, yes. The only one with a media pocket. And what the media pocket is designed for is you can put an iPad in or any other tablet. Different tablets are available. You pop it in, and then when you push the hood all the way down, your child can watch it. So I know lots of people, it's quite a lot of, you know, yes, no, or do we do that? But sometimes if you're away on holiday, if you want your students to sleep, it might be that they need, you know, just a little bit of in the night garden to get them off to sleep. So it can be quite useful. I've also seen people put pictures in there. So if another sibling's drawn a picture, they can have a look at it. Yeah, or do put mirrors on Yeah, mirrors are really good ones. The little one can see themselves because they like interacting with themselves. And also, you can um, put photographs in. So lots and lots of things if you want. You'll also notice that on the inside of the super, there is lots of pattern. Um, one of the things that Passato do, they do a lot of research about colours and patterns and babies. To find something that babies are going to interact with. So they're very, very thought out. Yeah. You never find a dull colour. No, nothing dull about Passato. Nothing dull whatsoever. So, let's, shall we have a look at the reclines? Yes. So all of them have separate reclines because they're two separate seats. I will put my iPad on there for a moment. So if I bring it into the middle, you'll be able to see. See, they're quite big, aren't they? <laughs> we can get rid of our rain cover for a moment. So on our joy, you have here, so you squeeze and you pull to recline it. And then these just drop down like that. Again, it's nice to really big. It is. One sleeping, one not sleeping. Okay, if it is really warm, you can roll this all up as well. You've got a little bit there with the Velcro. So if it is really warm, you've got lots of ventilation for little one as well. So that's our joy air. And then you've got your oyster. So again, individual. And it's just squeezing in.
And what's quite clever about these is that they are reversible. Yeah. So you have it with your fluffy side, or how we've got it on our demo, you can have it on a nice soft pattern side, and you still have it as that waterproof, showerproof on the top. You still keep that beach which you have really nice. And it's quite nice on the fleecy side, on the inside, you've got your little hand warmer as well. So little ones always lose their gloves, as I'm sure you are aware. But hopefully if you get little ones to pop their hand on there, they'll keep them nice and warm. Not that you're going to need that today. No, not today. Certainly Definitely not need that today. And no. um, so it's quite nice. And then when they get older, because you line it and you put them up, and your hedgehog goes all included, you can just take it out. Which is going to give them a little bit more room in their seats as that as well. So you've also got the opportunity to personalise your hedgehog as well. You can have one line one way, one foot move one way, one foot move the other way. And they do do a multitude of designs. Mm -hmm. As well, you get the very, very important box. You get two actually. His and hers. There we go. His and hers. So you can either keep your own drink in there, or you've got baby's bottle in there, or baby's juice, um, and they are both insulated. So quite a nice touch there as well. And an easy attach onto the frame. You don't think where am I going to put it? They're always quite easy to attach. So yeah. So accessory wise, it also comes with a rain cover. Your oyster. Uh, comes with a rain cover. Hand of joy comes with a rain cover. Your nano, your rain cover is an extra. So it must be it doesn't rain in the UK. No, yeah. So <laughs> mountains of Betty well. are based in New Zealand, but perhaps it doesn't rain there. But I believe it does. <laughs> the other thing that you get with your joy as well, you get two seat liners. So they are reversible. So we've got one pink and one blue. Um, as baby gets bigger, you can take those out then to give little one a bit more space as well. So I'm just going to pop these seat units up. They're not too heavy either, which is nice. No. They're quite nice and light. So um, while, while Joe sort of talks a bit more about that, I'm just going to double check and make sure they're not on the door. Oh, they're not on the door. Check, you so. should have a delivery. So we're a little bit short staff today. Our warehouse man is on poorly. So we've got another lady out filming today. So just bear with us. So let's have a look at our handlebars because different people like different things. So I'll turn this, the ball around for you. So we have got one handle for these three and then our super duper at the end, slightly different. And on your super duper you can see you've got your more traditional umbrella fold handle there. So you can hold it side, also quite useful if you've got little, uh, another child who needs to hold on. So just a different design. All of your handles are static, so you can't make them any taller. But as you can see, they are all pretty much of a muchness. I think, apart from the top of your handle on there, I think you enjoy these two are slightly higher than this one. Okay? Well, I've got them facing the other way. Kurt has obviously gone to unload a van, so you've just got me at the moment. Let's have a look at the brakes. So, on our super duper, it's a brake that goes all the way across. So you've got three different positions that you can use to pop the brake on. Okay, one, two, three. So you've got three sets of wheels. It gives you lots of nice um, stability as well. Mountain buggy, nano duo. We have got red for stop, blue for go. That doesn't make sense, does it? It should be green for go. So it's on this side, you can't do it on the other side. Um, well you can, that's not true actually. You can, no you can't, I lied. Just that side. Okay. On our oyster that we have here, either side, you can kick down. And then lift it up with your toe. So it doesn't matter which side you're doing it, down and up, it doesn't matter. And then on our joy, flip with your toe and flip it up. So really, we've all got a foot brake, so none of these have got a handbrake, but there are very few that actually have a handbrake. So, let me turn them all around. Just bear with me while I just pop them all around. So this one on the end is our joy air 
unlock wheels. So two buttons there, one on either side and then one in the middle to give us our swivel wheels on here. So if you're going over more rough terrain then you can lock them. And on this one you've got a button here. So that will lock them and then you just pop it up to unlock. So again you've got the ability to swivel or to have them static. Oyster, you've got, you push it down here and up, so you've got the ability to lock and then to spin. I'm going to leave them all on spin, we're going to have a look at manoeuvrability in a moment. And last but not least, on our joy, again, you've got up and down, so to spin and then to lock. I'm going to leave them all on spin. So, manoeuvrability wise, obviously once you've got them on spin, they're all pretty manoeuvrable. Manoeuvrability is good on all of them. If you had to ask me manoeuvrability wise, which one I thought was the best, then your nano duo would be the winner for me. It's a very lightweight instrument and it also has great manoeuvrability. It's very, very easy to steer. Almost can dance. Now, Kirsty decided, I think, to come back to see me. Yay! Here she comes. You miss loads, Kirsty. Absolutely. Tons and tons and tons. Oh, you done it all? Oh, I'll bite. <laughs> no, you're not quite. It's not quite. You left the best bit till last. Oh, what bit do you think I'm not done? The fold. The fold. <laughs> I'm going to go and sit down now. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have lots of boxes to unload. Not too many. Not as bad as our no, delivery no. person this morning. <laughs> So, we've had a look in your absence, Kirsty. Okay. We've had a look at the wheels. Right, yes. We've had a look at the brakes mm -hmm. as well. And we've also had a look at handle height right. and manoeuvrability. Okay. My favourite manoeuvrability yes. is yeah, just spins well, on a sixpence. Yeah. Spins on a sixpence, especially when we've got a bit of weighted babies in there as well. Yeah, now, we do have weighted dolls installed, so you can try them with a weighted baby because you will never push an empty push chair. No. We assume. Oh yeah, unless you're going to do shopping with you. Then. Yeah, you can fit lots of shopping in there. <laughs> loads and loads and loads of shopping. So, let's have a look at the fold, because obviously boot space is important, particularly if you've got to have a push chair for two children. Mm -hmm. If you are looking online and you're not sure, one thing you don't mention, any of these push chairs or any other push chairs, you're not sure about your boots, just drop us a message and we are more than happy to help. So if you want to give us centimetres, inches or millimetres? Yeah, whatever you like, whatever you fancy. So, should we start with the suit? Yeah. The suit has a slightly different fold. So, starting in this one. So, it's your and umbrella that. fold. So, lots of people be, uh, may know about your umbrella fold. So, you need to be red. That's the way you're unlocking be folded. Underneath the red catch, there's a little button. Push in and lift up. You've now collapsed your music stand. It is like a music stand, isn't it? Yeah. Any musicians amongst us will know what we're talking about. <laughs> Anyone else? I think. <laughs> yeah, they could just go and see the Put on the right hand side, give it a push down, and then bend the four push chairs on it. Now, bear in mind, Kirsty is folding that there with everything on it as well. So, we've got the foot muffs and everything, and it will fold with your foot muff on, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. Make it nice and easy. Obviously, so, without the foot bump on, it'd be a little more smaller, but at least it folds, you've got to take everything off. And it's quite nice because you can still wheel it, can't yes. you? So you can get it from A to B and wheel it like that. So we're going to leave that one folded because we're going to put them all side by side in just one moment so that you can see them next to each other. What should we do now? Nanny? 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 Right, so folding this one. It's a little bit different, this one. You have little buttons where the hood is, just on the other side. Push them in. Bend down the handle. Do a good squeeze together. So what happens then is you're releasing the mechanism then to allow it to fold over. So a different shape as you can see, but a nice flat shape as well. So look at that for double. That's good, isn't that? That's very, very good. Very, very good. So it does mean because it's so flat and you've got lots of things in your car, you like it to be able to fit them all in. And as you can say, you can do that from birth. Carry handle. Uh, carry handle, yeah. 
having it from there, but you can cut to soft caricots. So again, they're going to be quite flat. So, oyster. Oyster. Got the braids gone. Now, the oyster itself is just filling up the middle. Oh, oh we don't need to say uh, Not a safety yet. Some side, I think. Health and safety. <laughs> health and safety, health and safety, health and safety. Health and safety. There we, we go. go. Yeah, once you hear your click, you should be all right.
bottoms now. Yeah. Bottom viewing. <laughs> Goodbye from us for now. Yes, for today. And we'll see you tomorrow.